yeah, I don't know. Kind of frustrating survivor, I'm gonna be honest. Pretty frustrating. I think it's out of his hands. Based on the fact that he's the CEO, I don't think it is, I'm gonna be honest. I would imagine the CEO would have the ability to just be like, all right, I've listened to the community. I feel like that. I feel like that's probably below where he's at, I'm gonna be honest. If that's, if that's like above him, I don't know what he's doing here, I'm gonna be honest. You'll probably play Valorant on console until unless it's like a rank day. See, like the problem with that, and like it is like a problem, is like if you play a different game, and I'm not like not like you specifically, but like, oh my god, the ring doesn't like the the one doesn't actually aggro that immediately, so I don't pull the wave in my circle, in sicko mode. Anyways, the problem I was gonna say was when you play a different game, because you're like, I'm gonna wait for the ranked mode, it gets to like a point where like it ends up becoming a chore to load up Pred specifically on Saturdays. So then you just stop playing Pred altogether. Like I've had this happen with many games. I've seen a lot of people have this happen with many games. When you start like logging in specifically for like specific time frames and things like that, you just end up not playing. Cause it just becomes a job and that's like not fun. What's up, mid-band? How are you doing today? Big fan. Big fan, big fan. I heard Horus one-shots back on the table. Is that true? How am I today? I'm alright, P2. How are you doing today, man? Same old, same old. You know how it is. I only want to play a red uh, pred right now for rank, so I'm right. Well, that's like that's the problem, right? Because then you play during ranked, and then like you know maybe you're like two three weeks in, and then you're like, eh, maybe I don't want to fucking waste my time just waiting for the rank mode. I'm just gonna play something else, and then you just get invested in something else, so you stop playing. Like I don't know. You used to play Lost Ark uh, in the times for the islands and shit. Made you stop. It's just like one of those things where it's like you log on like. How many games have you played that have like log on rewards, for example? Bigger fan of me? Come on, man. I'm the biggest fan there is. But like how many times you like load up like a game and then you're loading up for the daily login rewards or something. And then you're just like, how long do you log in to the point where it's just like, all right, I'm literally only logging in for the daily login rewards. And then you just stop playing one day because you're just like, whatever, I don't care. Or like you're finishing like daily tasks. Just gets annoying. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be very similar, and I think people, like, I feel like people are losing the hype that you would theoretically have from a ranked mode, which is kind of like, again, one of the more requested features, which kind of sucks. But what can you do, really? I've tried. I've fought the good fight. No, it's just out of my hands. Am I going to play the Elden Ring DLC? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Mainly because I don't want to pay for it. Yeah, I kind of agree, Survivor. I feel like you'll be done when they don't listen to feedback. Yeah, I mean... It's just a shame, honestly. I feel like preemptively listening in this in, in this situation would be a massive W in terms of like what they've done, if that makes uh, sense. Because the they don't often listen to stuff, and when they do, it's not quick. The only time they've ever been quick, uh, would anyone log into Pred or try it out? Potentially without a rank mode in their genre. That's that's the point. That's what I, thank you. That's what I say, man. That's what I say. Diamond Life, thank you for the 12 months, by the way. I appreciate the prime. We'll get back to the bird nest, brother. Much appreciated. But that was I saying. Um, 
yeah, it's a competitive game that doesn't have a competitive outlet outside of eight specific hours of the week, which is really a shame. And unfortunately, probably gonna be like that for a while. Use a night thing with a follow. But uh, what I was saying was, like, outside of Affinity, they've never really reacted to something quickly. This was a perfect opportunity for them to listen to people in the competitive community, as well as, like, just general people in the in the game, and realize, like, all right, maybe we should listen and open it. Like, not even, like, like meet somewhere in the middle, you know what I mean? Be like, all right, you know, maybe we're uncomfortable doing it seven days a week, but we'll make it, you know, Friday to Sunday at the very least or something like that, right? Like, at least a little bit of an extension, you know? And that would have been, like, a big W. And now it's just, like, even if they do Friday to Sunday, it's just, like, why not just do that from the start? You know what I mean? And now it just gets to a point where it's just, like, now it's just annoying unless it's fully available all the time. Right? I think having it limited between eight hours, Bo, is actually, like, fine. Just for the quality of games. Uh to be like higher than average but like the fact that it's one day a week is criminal give you a weekday too criminal just having it just on weekends i mean again even if it was friday to sunday that would also solve that issue because friday's a weekday right saturday to monday i mean you could do whatever you could just do seven days a week <laughs> still with a limited time frame though or you could do like somebody had a good idea uh on like weekdays do it like seven to ten or something and then on weekends you do like 12 to 12 or something so it's like extended on weekends, you know? See, if we get stuff I don't need it, it's solving issues that create, which this game is uh, gonna struggle growing. I don't know. I feel like they also could have been like. You know, we saw a good turnout in ranked, we'll leave it on for an extra day or something. That would have also been nice to see. Something like that, at least. Because the game did have a good turnout. Just like Steam-wise, like, they were up 25% peak players on Saturday compared to Sunday. Like, it's a significant increase. Even between, like, Friday and Sunday, they were up 25% on Steam at peak hours. So, like, clearly they were interested. And then even, like, Twitch-wise, like... Uh, the day that ranked was out, there was like fifteen hundred people watching watching Pred. Normally, there's like six to seven hundred on average. There was a lot of people streaming. There was a lot of people playing, and there was a lot of people watching. Like that's just like, why wouldn't you want that? I don't know. Eighteen hundred. Did it get up to eighteen hundred at one point? I just know what I got off. It was around like sixteen hundred. And that goes with like what I've been saying like for a while, where like. It's a competitive game. People want to watch a competitive side of the game. When you look at any any competitive game, all of the top streamers and co content creators are either former pros, uh, like the pro league itself, or like tournaments, or uh, like high level ranked players. Like those are like all of the top streamers and like content creators most of the time. It's very rare you have just a straight up personality at the top at the top, or you have like a combination of like a good player and a personality, like Tyler One, for example. He's not, like, bad at League, but he has a good personality. What's up, Yiz? How are you doing today? How was my weekend? It was, was alright. Get in the corner! Get in the corner! That was a good wall. That guy's pissed. Run time warp? I don't think I'm gonna go time warp. I'm not a fan. An ally tower is under attack. There's a reason to play. Look, as upset as even I am about it, when I was actually playing it, I was having a good time. That was probably the most fun I've had playing Pred in, like, a long time. Like, genuinely. What did I just get stuck on, man? That 
I played in any MMO RPGs. Uh, I play a bit of Final Fantasy Online. Does that count? I love the games and it was a blast. It's just nice to actually play something with a reason. Like I play casuals all day, every fucking day, because I enjoy the game and I really do want the game to do well. But like, goddamn. Having an actual reason to play the game makes the game so much more enjoyable. Holy shit. Do I know Valorant's coming to console? I do. I heard they banned people for playing on keyboard and mouse. Is that true? If people use like a Zim? It's an investor decision, but community sentiment. Like, why would an investor want to cripple the game? Doesn't make any sense. I don't care whose decision it is, it's a terrible fucking decision. If I was an investor, wouldn't I want to make, make more money? How do you make more money? Get more people to play the game. How do you get more people to play the game? I don't know, release a rank mode? <laughs> I feel like that would be pretty obvious to just be like, alright, here are the Denver's. We're gonna fully launch it. Like, I don't know. I feel like that makes no sense to me, but... Maybe I'm mistaken, I don't understand it, but... That's how my brain would, would see it. But again, I don't want to complain about it all day. I, I said that earlier, I don't want to complain about it all day. It don't matter anyways. It ain't gonna change. They'll do what they have always done, which is what they're gonna do, so... It's whatever. I can open the worst band system is uh, beyond funny. Well, the problem actually isn't even really the system. The problem is that there's only one band. Because there's a lot of games that use like you ban at the same time type systems. Uh, for example, League of Legends, uh, Smite. The difference is that they have like 10 bands per like in total because each person gets an individual ban. So like it's unlikely you ban the same 10 heroes or uh, the same five heroes. So it's not really a problem. The problem is when you only have one ban, you're always going to ban the best character. And unfortunately, both teams, majority of the time, will probably have one or two best characters in the game. So, like, the odds that you ban the same character are pretty high. Uh, which you would also see in, like, League of Legends and stuff, where the best character tends to get banned twice. If I owned Pred, what's the first thing I would change? I mean, I would just release rank 24-7. That's a tough question to answer, honestly, because there's a lot of stuff that could be fixed or changed. But uh, if it was like a not, like if that's not like what you mean, then probably the map, honestly. That's always been the biggest issue the game has. I think there are like three big things. Blue balling people on ranked is pretty bad. Actual gameplay change would be like ranked. All right, sorry, not ranked. The map. Uh, third thing would probably be like an increase in mechanical depth. Uh, for example, like hero kits and stuff like that, like increasing the depth of uh, variability and skill expression. And then fourth would probably be, I'm trying to think. There's something else I had. I'm trying to think what it was. Oh. Pricing and stuff like that, like monetization. I feel like their monetization is not great. As people have complained about it for literal, literally since the game came out, honestly. It's kind of tied to the free camp, by the way. No comment on that, Wumba. We all saw it, by the way. I'm not going to let you live that down.
to junk camps and maps. Yeah, I think the map is the biggest problem. It's not even really the camps, honestly. Although I do wish the camps were like a little bit more unique. Uh, the map itself is just bad though. Like you could keep the camps the way they are or whatever. You could always change those later. But just the general like size of the map and stuff like that is really bad. Could be a flat map. I mean, the map is borderline flat. I say it all the time. It's more or less implied verticality. It's not like genuine real verticality a lot of the time, unfortunately. Oh, I wish I'd get baited. I tried. So I'm kind of cooking up on the Aurora, no cap. We need camps. Yeah, I mean, that's something that they could always fix. So it's not like super uh, annoying. Getting more creative with walls, what do you mean? Taurus is scared. I mean, I'm pretty sure I just kill him if he tries to fight me. I am two levels up on him. Aurora walls? You mean I'm just clicking the wall to create a wall? Crazy. Anyways. <laughs> I'm sorry, Horatio. It's a little silly that he can immune the second hit of the ult, but not the first hit, and then still immune the stun. I feel like that's kind of silly. I feel like it shouldn't count as a separate ability. But I guess that goes with the way the spell shields work in this game. Still kind of weird. Not sure I catch him. Maybe the Iggy can catch him. Doesn't seem like it. An enemy tower is under attack. Uh, is he on the two camp? God, I got spotted by the Gideon. That's so unlucky. Ah, oh, my ult doesn't go off. Isn't Aurora ult supposed to be CC immune? Am I tripping on that? Isn't her ult supposed to be CC immune? Never was. I thought it was. Unfortunate. Don I said Fister is well as ass. Somebody was using it on Aurora and it seemed pretty decent on Aurora. But I haven't really messed around with it too much. But it seemed okay on Aurora specifically, because you have a lot of like long 
ability to actually proc it since you stand next to people a lot. Holy, I'm cooking! Go oh. You son of bitches! My triple! If there's a believer in it. I mean, it just depends on the character. I think on most characters, Rizul is not very good. But on like Aurora, it actually seems pretty decent. Because you like proc it with the Magnify, then you actually get like good value off of it. And then I'm going Worldbreaker anyways, so getting 600 HP is kind of fat. So like, it seems okay when somebody's using it against me. It seemed like it did a lot of damage uh, combined with Worldbreaker and shit. So I'm just messing around with it. Giving it a second look, you know what I mean? Because initial impression, it was not great. I don't think I catch this guy. I don't. I'll be right back. Holy Aurora old Batman. I am kind of saucing up, honestly. I don't know, the more I've been playing Aurora, because people keep requesting it. I'm like kind of getting a little bit better at her and like kind of enjoy her a little bit more, but she still has the same issues. This is her quest, and no, I just feel like playing it. I was playing it yesterday and I did like 40k damage and feel like I did 40k damage. So I wanted to try the build I was going yesterday again. I think the guy that built this originally was kind of cooking up, honestly. I didn't realize that it stacked on minions. I thought it was heroes only. Like, good to be around the hero. What am I doing? I'm, I'm chilling, Gritty. How are you doing today, man? Probably better in jungle than offlane. I don't know, I was playing her offlane. She seemed okay. Although, I was, like, weirdly losing trades that I felt like I should be winning. But that could just be not used to, like, the thresholds and stuff like that. I mean, this guy's dead. He just accepted his fate. I respect that. An enemy tower is under attack. The last two items, Bella and Pre uh, Flux. Well, you get Flux for sure, and then last item, I'm not even sure, honestly. I don't think he got the last item. So I actually don't know. It's probably just another defense item, though. Like Gaia Greaves or something. So you can actually chase people down. <laughs> so the problem with flashing on the Fang Mao to kill him is I now have no engage. It's like the Aurora problem, man. Now my engage has to be I have to play weird. That's not as good. It's not ideal. This is awkward. I'm gonna die, just get as much damage as I can. That's a very awkward fight. I feel like my team played really far back when we were engaging. And then the other team got to collapse first, which is just kind of unfortunate. 
At least it's like kind of an even fight more or less. So like my team just kind of trades. But I don't feel like their team should have been able to walk in the way that they walked into the lane. Which kind of sucks. A little bit forced maybe. Actually ends up being a 4 for 3. It's gonna be a 4 for 4 though probably. Actually it's a 5 for 3 W. Duo diff, duo diff. There's too much evasion already, doesn't need a faster ice slide. I don't think it needs to be faster, I don't think it should have a delay on it though. But like, half a second delay that you get is really criminal. Nah, I think the delay is a big issue, I would agree, Horatio. I wanna get a word on this. Dude, double ADC diff, I guess. Dude, imagine if that stun hit off that. Weird ass bounce. I'm actually gonna reset real quick. Okay, this is a big spike. Not just for me, but my Iggy and Grim as well. We have four magicals, so. I think our double jump not scaling with levels down is kind of cursed. Uh, it's different than other characters. It's a little weird, but... Honestly, I think some of the passives in this game are a little ridiculous to begin with. Like, passives are supposed to be strong in the early game or, like, super strong in the late game. I feel like it's weird. And this game, for some reason, they want passives to be good at, like, all points in the game. Like, every passive, which is kind of weird. Not a big fan of that. Hers is like strong early game. Okay. I win those. Uh, Alright, triple kill! Holy! God, that's awesome, bro. They do a lot of damage. Yo, Ashwa, thank you for the six months, man. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the bird nest. Hope you're having a good day today. What do you build on Rick if you want to fuck around and go full damage? Uh, I think you just go the one slap build where you try to build like obelisk and try to one slap people. You like pull and then try to slap somebody. I trapped my Grim. Fuck him. Maybe you shouldn't have been in the pit as a Grim. You know what else I did? Killed their whole goddamn team. Is he going to complain about that too? Maybe you should have flashed. Cap up. Because you can flash through walls, you know? Team done in the game! I gotta pad my stats. Hold on. I mean, done in the game, bro. My damage numbers have to go up. Oathkeeper and damage items, basically. Like, Oathkeeper, Magnify. Stuff like that, I think. Something like Noxia to try to one-shot somebody. I actually played Aurora, I did. And I actually did something. 